Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. I'm going to put out three runes. Each of these runes is going to represent a problem, question, or concern that you may have. I'm going to explain to you what each of these runes is about, and you can decide which of these you want the answer to. And I'm going to put the timestamps in the description below. You can go straight to the answer you want to hear. You can listen to all of them if you like. Um, here we go. Uh, today I'm using one of the Blum sets. Uh, this is the one from his Relationship Runes um, set. These don't necessarily have to be about relationships, um, but that was the original intention. They are a pink glass uh, with the rune on in gold. So your th three questions today. Your first question today is represented here by Manas. Manas is the rune of humanity and your place in it. Um, you may have a question about humanity and your place in it. Maybe you're worried about humanity. Maybe your question is, where is my place in humanity? If you have a question of that kind, you want to go to timestamp number one and get your answer. Your second question for the day is represented by Gabo. Gabo is the rune of the gift. Um, in ancient Norse, the gift was always an exchange. You didn't just give a gift. You always got a gift in exchange. Um, this rune has to do with uh, gifts, exchanges, but also uh, decisions, agreements, um, arrangements, X marks the spot, something that you have a goal for or something that you've agreed to. If your question has to do with something like that, please go to timestamp number two and get your answer. The third rune um, is representing a question about um, emotion, heart, intuition. This is Lagu's. It's the rune of lake, basically. Some people say it's the rune of leeks, like the vegetable leek. Um, I tend to go with lake because that's more along the lines of uh, intuition, emotion, and heart. Um, so if your question is more about, it's a question of heart, question of emotionality, question about intuition, you're going to want to go to question number three at timestamp number three. So those are your three questions. I will see you at the timestamp you choose. Hello, question number one. So this is the question about uh, manas, which is the rune of humanity and uh, your place in it. Um, basically question about people, maybe people in your life, maybe, maybe people in the world at large. I'm going to draw a few runes around this to get a better snapshot of what's actually going on and what might actually help. Uh, this is a rune first that I'm drawing to um, see what led up to this, a uh, rune that's what's going to help a rune that's what's not going to help, and the next step on your path. Okay. So what led up to this really was your feeling... This is Algis. It's the rune of... Well, it's the elk, um, which, which is what in North America we call a moose. Um, it's the rune of protection, um, support. Maybe you've had a question about... Um, you, you were sort of dealing with... I want to actually clarify this before I go any further. <laughs> okay. Um, so it looks like you may have been supported, but you weren't very happy about it. This is uh, Vunyo. It's the rune of joy. Sorry, Vunyo. Uh, but it's reversed, and it's in what's helping. So what's helped you to get to this point is you haven't been happy. Um, you've had to look for your happiness inwardly with the support that you've been getting, with the protection you've been getting. You maybe haven't felt as protected as you wanted to. Um, maybe also you feel like you don't have the money. Uh, this is Fehu. It's the rune of wealth and worth. Excuse me, maybe <laughs> you feel like you don't have the money um, to keep yourself as supported as you like, and you're feeling a little bit worried about that. You're not very happy about it, and this has led up to your questioning humanity. So it could be a very existential question in this case. Um, what helps at this point? We have the blank rune. This is an invention of Blum's. Uh, one class I was teaching at one point, somebody made the comment that they thought the blank rune was there in case you lost one of the other ones, and we laughed very hard for about five minutes at that. Um, sure, I find it's uh, very useful actually, even though it is an invention, not part of the original Elder Futh arc. Um, it has to do with uh, the unknown, unknown and the unknowables. And I think that's really what's going to help you is just nobody knows anything. You know, we are, we're just, you know, basically floating on this rock, <laughs> doing the best we can, and everybody is doing the best they can. So just to be very, very much more open about 
what's going on with humanity at the moment. I am actually going to, yeah, I'm actually going to throw down a rune above and below just to see if we can clarify that a bit. Um, what's helping being open up to the unknowables is just basically this is outside of your comfort zone. You're going to want to find, oh, this is Althala. This is the rune of the homeland. Um, and it's reversed, but it's in the helping line. So it's basically come out of your comfort zone. Come out of your comfort zone. That's actually going to help you a lot in terms of opening up, um, knowing that you always, you always, you always have a home within yourself. So bring yourself back to that. Create a home space within yourself that will always be there no matter where you go and what you do. And that's going to help you very much dealing with pretty much anything weird that's going on in humanity that you have that to go to. Now what won't help is we have Rai though. Rai though is the journey. I think you may in fact be really, really worried about the journey that humanity is taking. Goodness knows we all are. And that every day, here's Dagaz, the dawn, um, every day we are faced with a new revelation of how awful this journey seems to be becoming. Once again, if you feel like this is dragging you down, please bring yourself back up to the home within yourself, your home state within yourself, your home base <laughs> within yourself. Um, this will actually help you feel in your comfort zone and f with access to everything you need, no matter what's going on around you. And it will help you actually be open to the fact that really anything can happen and it's fine. I mean, it's not, but it is. Now your next step actually, even though you do all of this, it looks like you are going to get some nasty surprises as far as this is uh, Pertho, um, it's the lot box, it's reversed, it's on the path line. So something is gonna come to your attention that you really didn't wanna know, but was always there. <laughs> so let's throw down some more runes and see what can get you past this. Aha, okay. So it looks like what you've been doing with your home state of your home state. I'm not saying the home state you live in. <laughs> Ohio may not help you with this. Um, but this is Yura. It's the rune of the harvest. It's the rune of time. And all of this time that you've spent building your inner sense of home um, will actually come to fruition at this point. So even when something really unpleasant happens, you can basically return to that. You can say this is temporary. It isn't going to last forever and I still have my inner home, so I'm, I'm grounded in that. What doesn't help is things feel out of control. This is Hagalaz, it's the rune of the hailstorm, um, chaos, um, the uncontrolled uncontrollables. This keeps happening. If this keeps happening, bring yourself back. I have an inner home, I know I have everything I need there, I'm grounded, and all of this is temporary. And eventually you will get to the point where there is clarity. This is Isa, it's the rune of ice. Um, it can be a rune of standstill, stillness, but I think in this case, we're gonna reach a point where there's gonna be a bit of a stoppage of perhaps a winter of um, the crazy stuff not happening for a little bit. It's gonna be like this moment of stillness, a bit of an eye in the storm. And that is your answer for this question. So I hope this helps you and take care. Hello, question number two. This is a question about Gabo. So Gabo is the rune of gifts and agreements, decisions, goals. Let's see what the runes have to say about this question. Ooh. <laughs> ah. I'm basically putting down runes at this point to show you what led up to this point, um, to give you some suggestions of what will help, to give you uh, an idea of what won't help, knowing that the what will help is always the antidote to what won't help, and to give you a next step on your path. So it looks like what led up to this question about your goals, your aspirations, your decisions, is, uh, well, we've got the blank rune. The blank rune was an invention of Blum. Um, this is not a part of the original Elder Futhark, but I find it very useful um, anyway. And it looks like there was a huge period of your life where it felt like there was nothing. There was nothing in your life. You felt things were blank, unknown, unknowable, just this field of nothing. And so at this point you just, okay, I have to do something. I have to have a goal. I have to have something that I can do. What helps you here is represented by Sovilo. Sovilo is the rune of the sun. So we have basically access to source energy. Find what gives you your source energy. What gives you the energy that 
gives you life. Uh, once you tap into the source energy, that's actually going to drive you forward in your new goal decision agreement with yourself. What isn't going to help is, interestingly, the opposite, which is Isa. Isa is the rune of ice, um, stand still, you know, basically things completely frozen. Basically what it's saying is like, don't do nothing at this point. Don't freeze in the headlights of this new light. Tap into your source energy and move forward. This is very exciting. Now your next step here is represented by Nauthis and Nauthis Reverse. Nauthis is the need rune. Um, it's actually representing a, a need fire, those two sticks you rub together to get fire. Um, it is reversed and that generally for Nauthis means really, really, really tend your needs. Um, it usually means tend your needs, but in this case you want to really focus on getting all of your needs in order before you move forward. I mean you're moving forward already, but the, your first step is going to be to get the needs in order. And this is going to feel like chores. It isn't. Um, the thing about tending your needs is, even though it feels like a slog sometimes, you generally feel better afterwards to the point where you are glad you did it. So what helps you at this point is, we have Burkana. Burkana is very yin energy and it's reversed. So I'm actually going to read this a couple of ways that are going to seem opposite. One, um, tap into your deepest yin energies. Um, for this. Your yin energies are going to tell you, uh, your feminine energies are going to tell you where the needs are. At the same time, be ready to be not that. <laughs> Let me bring down a couple things that are going to uh, clarify that. Now, I'm, I'm saying that I'm actually going to go with the first reading of that, which is basically tap into your deep yin energies because what isn't going to help is the yang energies where you're going to try to wrestle things into place. Um, we have Ingvaz here, uh, that's the god Ing, otherwise known as the god Frey. He's the fertility god and he has to do with making things, um, making things when you're creating them, like really wrestling them into place. Um, this won't help in this case um, because your mind is not going to know so much what needs to be done as your um, yin nature. And this is basically, once you start listening to that, that voice is going to get louder. This is Kaunas. It's the rune of the torch, it's the rune of fire, and it's something that starts small and gets louder. And that's actually going to help you. That's actually going to amplify the source energy from the sun, bring it down and help, the, help you direct your energies to serving your needs. Um, the reason this doesn't help you is you've always been supported by your mind. You, which you, you should never stop being supported by your mind. Please don't lose your mind. But this is not the time. Right now you're, you have to sort of defocus a bit, um, get a more intuitive sense of where your needs are so that you can address all of them. You will feel them before you see them. So you're going to worry that doing things that way, you're not going to have the same support that you would have following things um, the way that you normally do, which is very strong taking things in hand, making the things you, the way you need them to. So you're going to tend your needs, get all that sorted out, and your next step here is uh, Pertho. Pertho is the lot box. Um, it is upright here on the path, and it's going to actually reveal to you at this step, once you've tended your needs, you've made the decision. You've made the decision to start on this path. You then will go and tend your needs, make sure everything's in order. At that point, once everything is in order, things will open up to you. Your fate will open up to you. The lot box has to do with fate, it has to do with surprises, but surprises of things that were already there. And in this case, this is a very, very nice ending. You are getting a surprise, but it's a good surprise. And it's a good surprise that you know is your fate. So you're going to move forward, you're going to be tending your needs, you're going to get that. It's going to be a lovely surprise. You win the lot box, it's all good. So that is your answer for that question. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helped. Take care. Hello, question number three. Um, this is the question about issues of... Your central issue is one of um, intuition, emotion, heart. Um, this is Lagos. It's the rune of the lake. So it has to do with all that lovely watery stuff. Um, let's see what the runes have to say. Okay, again we have the blank rune. Okay, 
I'm laying down runes basically to show you what led up to this point, um, what's going to help, what isn't going to help, and what your next step is. Ooh, that's interesting. We may have to throw down another rune after that. So what really led up to this is we have the blank rune. Again, this is the blank rune was an invention of Blum, who who put out these uh, rune sets. It's not part of the original Futhark, but I find it very useful. Um, I really see leading up to this point where you're asking this question about heart, um, intuition, emotion. There was a lot of real foggy area leading up to this. There was a lot of really nothing. <laughs> it felt like there really wasn't anything. It was sort of this amorphous blob of nothing. <laughs> and now suddenly you're feeling things. You have, you're, you're recognizing your emotions, you're noticing your emotions and your intuition, and this is very exciting. What will help is represented here by Kaunas. Kaunas is the rune of fire, um, of the torch. Something usually that starts small and gets bigger. In this case, it's reversed. So we're looking at a real focusing, um, a focusing of attention. So I think what may be happening is that either your emotions or your intuition or just generally your heart, it was just sort of a part of things before and now you're actually directing your attention on it and actually the more you focus on it the more aware you're going to become of it so that's actually going to help a lot this is not the time to edit things <laughs> and what's not going to help here is represented by Nauthies. now this is the need rune it has to do with tending your needs uh, really just sort of weeding that garden that's important but it's not important now what you're dealing with has to grow if you are pulling up everything green in a garden while it's trying to grow, you're going to pull up the garden. So you're going to feel like you want to do it because it's messy. Emotions, intuition, all that watery stuff, it's messy and you're going to want to clean it up. In this case, don't. Let it happen for now. Turn your focus on it and just let it teach you. I'm going to draw a few more things, yeah, uh, because the focus is actually going to get you in touch with your feminine nature, uh, whatever gender you identify as. This is going to ident this is going to get you better focused with your uh, divine feminine and your your yin nature. Let's say um, this is Berkana. It's reversed. It's on the helping line, so it's basically going to be talking about inner. So it's, it has to do with birth, it's the birch tree. Um, so this is basically feeding into this. This is, the more you focus on it, the more in touch you're gonna get with, with that emotionality. What isn't going to help, what isn't going to help? <laughs> um, the reason that editing emotions is really a bad idea is, and you're gonna wanna name it, you're gonna wanna, I mean, definitely name it. This is part of emotional intelligence, but it's going to have to do with uh, control and trying to manifest and try to force. Um, this is Ansu's. It's the rune of communication. It's the rune of manifestation. It's in a very, very not helping spot. Um, so your inner voice is basically going to, be, going to be trying to override the emotions and that's never going to help anything. So if you feel that starting to happen, take a deep breath, bring yourself back to just awareness of the emotions as something very organic. Um, your next step here is you are going to be discovering some things about yourself that maybe you're not very happy about. They're, they're, this is Pertho, it's the rune of the lot box, has to do with fate and surprises about, about things that were already there. There's going to be a few things that you're going to see that you're maybe not going to be as pleased about. Please don't let this stop you. Um, yes. So what's going to help you at this point is patience. This is uh, Ivaz, it's the yew tree, it has to do with patience and slow growth. This is the patience and slow growth Thing. So just be patient with yourself. Um, what's not going to help is this is Rai though, it's the journey. You're going to try to direct this. This is all about trying to control the emotions. Um, you know, I'm not a psychoanalyst or anything <laughs> like that, but you allow the emotions to flow through. Don't wreck, don't break things. Don't become like breaking things or being like letting them carry you away but become aware of them and be patient with yourself yes and this is actually going to have a very very good ending um this is going to lead to some real um fruits of your labor this is yira it's the rune of the year it's the rune of harvest you are going to see the fruits of your labors um, if you are patient um, just paying attention to your emotions focusing on that becoming more emotionally aware uh, and more emotionally literate, I believe, is the original is the is the current term. 
this is going to be a very good harvest for you. So that is your answer for question number three. I hope it helped you and see you next time. Bye!